Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with another look um, with the ColourPop Stranger Things palette. And so I thought I'd go ahead and tell you what I have on. As far as uh, the base today, I started with these three. So I have the uh, Lumi Lotion or Lumi Glow Lotion in 902. I mix that with my moisturizer. Then I mix the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I have mine in Fair. And uh, the Elf Bronzing Drops in Rose Gold. So I did mix these two together. And with this particular foundation, it has the pigment beads in there. So you put a little bit of this in your hand, a little bit of the Elf uh, Bronzing Drops and then you go and mix it all together so that you are bursting all the pigment beads in here and so you'll just roll this around in your hand together and then apply it with your fingers at least that's what I usually do and I think it worked out pretty well. I also use the NYX All Buttered Up as far as my bronzer. This is the second lightest shade. It has a lot more red in it than the Buttercup which is the lightest shade did go ahead and use the elbow yeah uh, this one went rolling around and this one is the elf moth blush and then I did go ahead and use the rare beauty mesmerize on top of it so this is what I have actually on top and then I did go ahead and use the essence make me brow as far as the brow on here and um, I did go ahead and pick up the ColourPop Times or ColourPop collab with Stranger Things Times, you know. So um, I did go ahead and pick up the palette. I've done this is the third look with the palette. The formula is really good, really enjoying the formula. I did go ahead and use this one uh, from here to here and then here to here. I did go ahead and use the green on the lid itself. Um, used a little bit of this right at a diagonal and was hoping this might give me more of a line, but it actually blended really well. And then um, I did go ahead and use the peacock color over in the corner here. Uh, this blue actually for my eyeliner underneath. And um, yeah. I think that's all that I used from the palette itself. I did go ahead and use ColourPop. This is their Super Shock in shade 10, which was a freebie if you purchased their 10 year anniversary palette. It was a free gift with purchase, and I put that right on the inner corner. And um, I think this, yeah, this is a pretty unique uh, palette for ColourPop. It has two of these glitter shades, and these are actually glitter suspended. Um, in uh, yeah, it's really pretty formula, and you can actually go ahead and use it just like a regular shade, even though it's glimmer and it's actually suspended in a formula kind of thing. It still works as a regular shade, and that's pretty amazing. Um, what I'm thinking with this palette is that I want to actually go back and get the uh, duochrome shadows that go with it because I think just by seeing other people use those that they would actually really help to go ahead and get a couple more looks out of this palette that I think um, yeah, I like it enough that I want to go back and get more from the collection. So there's a shade, a duochrome, that has mainly a pink tone that I think would go with this top part, and then one that has a blue-purple tone that I think would go with the bottom part. And I think it would just go ahead and open up what you could do with this, because with this shade right here, I haven't been able to figure out anything to do with it. And so... Yeah, I kind of, I kind of would like to be able to go ahead and use the whole palette. And like I said, it intrigues me enough to be able to want to go back and get more of the collection. So that's a really good thing. And so I'm really enjoying the palette. Um, it does have the monster. So if you find yourself feeling a little uneasy after getting or purchasing this palette, maybe because there's a monster on the lid, but. 
I am really enjoying this packaging. It has the vines all over it, and you can't get your dirty fingers on here. Um, it's a really good package design because it doesn't show all the dirt or all the fingerprints and all the eyeshadow that you know you can get over here or get on there. So again, I think it's a really good Halloween palette, and um, I want to go back and pick up more of the collection now that I've got to go ahead and try this part. So um, I really like the look that came up, uh, through. Here's the way that the look came out. So it really did go just about as dark and smoky as you can go with these eyeshadows. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, I want to pick up the duochrome so I can do a couple more looks with this. And um, I think that that's probably the whole video. And um, I hope that you have a great day. And yeah, put some Halloween into your makeup this month. It'll be fun and different and unique and new. So, and like I said, see you later and have a good day. Bye.